man? 64. You're 64 years old. <laughs> oh, man. Easy. Oh, man. Dudes, th half your age can't do that. I can't do that. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, old yo, OG on something. No excuses. Uh, no excuses. Rip right. That's it, OG. Shalom. Ka Halayim, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double items to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai broke a thumb to the hopefully leg, man. And just, just real quick, man, because I, 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 I see videos like this sometimes. You know, and it just um, it just has me thinking about uh, pretty much how in in our kingdom, man. Um, well, first, let me get this. Let me get this in Zechariah chapter twelve. Zechariah chapter twelve and verse eight. It says, "In that day shall Yahweh defend. In that day shall Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is." Feeble among them in that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of Yahweh before them. All right, and uh, basically, um, because we're in a time now, like the scriptures talk about how they shall wear out the saints of the Most High, right? You know, because basically, when it comes to the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, Esau has done a, a number on our people, all right. Um, and being in this captivity, man, um, amen, is, is, is taking its toll on all of us. But even more so for brothers in the truth, man, you know. Um, and, you know, we're coming into the times where Yahweh about Shemir Shai, he's going to renew our strength. He's going to give us our strength back. All right. Um, and um, like the script that I, that I just read, um, I'm going to read it again. It says, In that day shall Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them, basically weak, all right? Um, feeble meaning weak, all right? Whether it be in spirit, because like I said, a lot of us are worn out, tired. Men mentally, we're exhausted, man, you know, but even physically, uh, a lot of us, a lot of brothers deal with all type of physical ailments, you know, and even more so for... Um, Brothers that are up in age that are in this truth, you know, is basically talking about how, um, again, those that are feeble, um, reading on, it says, at that day shall be as David and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. All right. So the, the, the house of David being the elect. So you see again, because the Lord is going to give us our strength back. All right. And for brothers that, again, you know, deal with all type of physical ailments, you know, some brothers are overweight, um, so on and so forth, man. Um, again, you know, um, they should be as David, King David. Now, if you knew, if you if you know about King David, man, you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemiel Shai, you know, uh, David, King David, basically, he had spiritual power, man. You know, he was leaping through walls and, you know, they would, they would swing swords at him and they would they would break you know <clears throat> um amy you know because again going back to that spiritual power so again <clears throat> the lord is going to give us you know that type of uh uh, uh that uh, that type of ability you know and this and this is pretty much touching on the last video i did going into spiritual power <laughs> all right um which again you know it's a thing of faith man you know um because like I said in the last video, man, um, it only makes sense. Yahweh Bashim El Shai lifting up that standard um, because of how bad things are going to be out here. All right. And, you know, and, and so, again, because, you know, some of us are going to be put in situations where, you know, because um, like the scriptures talk about how Jacob is a worm. You know, we're defenseless. You know, we don't have no defense capabilities like a worm. It has no, you know. It has no way of defending itself. And against Esau and what he's got, we're going to need, you know, these, we, we're going to need that type of strength, man, to, to, to overcome. So, again, you know, in that day, all right, when that standard is lifted and, and brothers receive that spiritual power, again, the weak man, he's going to be as King David, man. He's going to be 
tearing through buildings. I'm uh, and I'm talking about again the same bro the, the the same brothers that are dealing with back problems, brothers that are overweight, brothers that are blind and you know can barely see and whatnot. Hey, Amen. <laughs> you know, in that day, those same brothers they're gonna be lifting up buildings, man. You know, ripping through. Uh, what do you call it? Um, those um. They got those um. Basically ripping through um. What do you call it, man? Um. Like those uh, like the, the the bomb shelters that's you know they're supposedly uh, bomb proof and you know uh, uh stuff like that, but again, uh, brothers are gonna be tearing through it like nothing, man. You know, lifting up buildings, you know, throwing cars, all all type of stuff, man. Brothers are gonna be uh, doing these things. Um, and again, because it said it also mentioned the house of David. All right, like uh, the the house of David shall be as God. All right. Again, just going into that spiritual power, I'm gonna get a uh, a few examples. And um, one is uh, what is that? Uh, First Samuel chapter 18. <clears throat> and you see, because the mighty men of King David, they're back today. All right. First Samuel 18 and verse seven. It says, "It's like that's not what I wanted." Um, but I read it anyways since I'm here. 1 Samuel 18 and 7, it says, And the women answered one another, As they as they played and said, Saul hath slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. So, again, being that King David was a mighty man of war, all right, he was slain, he was he was slain cats left and right. Because again, the Yahweh Shemel Shai gave him that 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 ability, that ability to do so. Like I said, he was leaping through uh uh, uh high high walls. All right, King David was doing all type of crazy stuff, man, um, during his time. All right, and um, you know, we're gonna see that stuff again in this day and age when it's all said and done. Um, I'm trying to look for this real quick. Oh, uh, that, that's not what I was looking for either. But I'm gonna go back to Zechariah. The twelfth chapter, because there's a, a few a few good verses in here. Uh, Zechariah chapter twelve. Could you see uh, stuff like this with this with this well with this OG man? Um, um, scriptures also. I don't know if I mentioned this already. Um, how the Lord's going to give us our strength back. So you see stuff like this, man. This is I mean this is going to be nothing in the compared to what we're going to get. You know, when we're in those indestructible bodies, you know, I, I always picture to myself having a, a, a push-up contest, you know, with the brother. Um, but you see, when we get those, if we, if we, if we get, or when we get those spiritual bodies, man, a hey, you, you try to do something like a, you try to do something like have a, a push-up, a push-up contest with a fellow brother, man, in the kingdom. Hey, man, you might as well just be doing it for the rest of your lives because, again, in in our kingdom. When we get our strength back, our youth back, listen, man, we're not going to get tired, all right? We could do, we could be doing push-ups for the rest of our natural lives in the kingdom. We're not going to get tired, all right? We're not going to get weary, all right? Um, but go, uh, going back to this in Zechariah chapter 12, um, I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. Yeah, because again, when you have about Shemel Shai, um... When Yahweh Shai gives this man that spiritual power, man, hey, you know, we're going to be tearing these nations up. And, you know, we're going to be tearing this kingdom up. All right. Um, it says, when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with all with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, say if Yahweh, I will smite every horse with astonishment, and his rider with madness, and I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah, and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. All right, so matter of fact, let me read on down to verse six. It says, verse five, and the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength, Yahweh of hosts, their power, because again, um. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, he's going to execute judgment. And one of the ways he's going to do that is by using his men. All right, because like I said, the, the, the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, 
hey man, they're gonna be tearing shit up too. All right, they're gonna be tearing this kingdom apart too. And also, a uh, uh, judgment against the two thirds. You know, some brothers, man, hey man, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna put some of these two these two thirds to death because you know, um, like I, I said in the previous video, man, um, you know, you're gonna have bounties out on the men of the Lord. You know. So people are going to be coming after us. That includes the two-thirds, man. You know, it, 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 it's bad enough that, you know, our own people uh, hate us, you know. Um, like I brought it out before, man, Psalms 1, uh, 110 and 3, um, in, that, in that day, or in that power, uh, in that day, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. It's like you. Um, so you see, man, you know, because like I said, there's already a certain glow. There's already a, a certain shine. When it comes to the men of Yahweh Shemel Shai, and you see, because Jake, you know, they they they're jealous as hell, man. You know, so they already have a disdain for us as it is. So you know, when it's all said and done, and pretty much, you know, when when, it, when it's all lawlessness out here, anarchy out here, and they pretty much think that they have the excuse to, you know, come against us. All right, um, hey man, because you know we do have a right to defend ourselves. You know, the scriptures tell you uh, there's a precept that tells you it is. A good thing to recompense tribulation to those that trouble thee. So, you know, we do have a right to defend ourselves. So, you know, in that day, hey, even some of these two-thirds are going to be put to death by men of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. Um, but again, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, one of the ways he's going to execute vengeance is by his men. All right. And, and those spiritual powers, you know. Verse 6, it says, In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch a fire in a sheaf, and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. So, again, uh, 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 again, Yahweh Shemel Shah, I mean, he's going to use his men, certain of his men, to be tearing shit up too, tearing shit up as well, you know. As again, the Lord is going to give us our strength back, all right. Power is going to be given to the men of Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, I'm gonna get this in um, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40, I'm gonna start at verse 28. It says, Has thou not known? How has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding, you know, because. Again, um, the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh Shai, and even the angels, they don't get tired because the angels, they're constantly at work. They're constantly traveling to and fro, um, in and out of the earth, going through the spiritual realm. They, they're constantly, you know, working. And the angels don't get tired because they're in those angelic bodies, man, you know. Um, verse 29, it says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. So you see. <clears throat> when it comes down to it, hey, how about Shemel Shai? To those that get the spiritual power, he's gonna tap into their their pineal gland, all right, you know, and and, and uh, give them the ability and the, the 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 access, you know, to whatever it is. Because like I said, uh, brothers are gonna be doing all type of uh, all type of stuff. Brothers are gonna get, you know, um, their their you know. Because like I mentioned, um, you know, brothers are going to be picking up tanks, man, and, and throwing cars and all type of stuff, you know. Yahweh Shemel Shai, he's going to put it into their minds. He's going to tap it to their, their minds to, and, and, you know, so they, you know, it's like uh, the, 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 the scene from, um, what do you call it? The, the, the Matrix, right, when Morpheus was fighting uh, Neo, right? You know, and they were, you know, programming all, uh, uh, putting the program to, you know, learn how to, uh, fight the karate or whatever it's the same thing with us that's how the lord's going to do with with us you know he's just going to tap into our mind he's going to program us to be able to 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 perform certain abilities all right you know um verse 30 says even the youths even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall be utterly and the young men shall utterly fall right and like the guy said in the video man you know People half this half this 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 man's age, man, can't even do what he was doing, and, and he's right, you know. Um, um, I know, just you know, because I, I started the, this fit, fitness journey that I'm on, you know, because you got to take care of yourself, man. You know, you got to take care of this flesh, you know. Um, just could just tell you to, it tells you that uh, 
a bodily bodily exercise profited a little bit. So you know, um, you know, you gotta take care, take care of this flesh, you know, to the best of your ability. So this fitness journey that I'm on, that I started a couple of years ago, um, before that, man, I couldn't even do a pull up, man. You know, and and you know, even now, man, I can you know I can uh, get some out the way, even push ups, man. You know, I remember back in back in um my middle school and high school when I was at my my you know. They say the, the like the, the 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 prime of your strength or whatever. I couldn't I couldn't do push-ups. I couldn't do none of that stuff. You know, all bent out of shape or whatnot. You know. But you see, man, verse thirty-one it says, "But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint." So you see, again, the Lord is going to renew our strength. Let me read that again, verse thirty-one. But they shall, but they that wait upon Yahweh. Because again, it is a thing of waiting, being patient. You know, which a lot of uh, a lot of guys they they lose patience, right? They give up, right? But to those that endure to the end, Yahweh Shemuel Shai is going to renew their strength. It says, "They shall mount up with wings as eagles." So again, brothers are going to be flying. You know, brothers are going to be jumping hella high, like King David. King David was jumping over walls. Hey, brothers are going to be. Jumping over buildings, and I'm talking about high-rise buildings, man. Not, 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 not. You know, I'm talking about those high, high-rise buildings. Brothers are gonna be jumping over that, jumping over that stuff like nothing, right? And, and flying, you know. It says they shall run and not to be weary. Hey, brothers are gonna be like Flash out here, man. You know, like this. Uh, what do you call it? The the, the scenes from the X Men movie with the Quicksilver. How he's it's like he's able to to to, to stop a uh, stop time. Or everything else is around him is going slow, you know. That's a hey, because that's what's going to be happening, you know. Brothers going to be running so fast, man, you know. Uh, what do you call it? the sparks going to be coming off their feet, you know, leaving a trail of fire, you know, like flash and shit, man. Brothers are going to be doing that stuff, and they're not going to get tired. It says, and they shall walk and not faint. So you see, again, Yahweh Bashmael Shah, man, he's going to renew our strength. He's going to give us power. You know, let me get this in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, in uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter three. And you see, um, this you know these things have to be talked about because, like I said before, um, you know a lot of the Israel Israelite camps they don't they don't even believe in the spiritual powers. You know they don't believe in these things. You know, and um, this is a part of our comfort because again, how else are we going to escape destru uh, destruction? When it comes, how else are we going to, you know, escape? Because, again, you know, it's going to get so bad out, bad out here, man. You know, but through the comfort of the scriptures, aid, hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he's going to provide a way for us to escape it. That's that standard. All right. Isaiah 59 and 19. That's that standard. A way to escape. All right. Um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 7 it says, And in that time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro. Like sparks among the stubble. So you see, again, brothers are gonna be running so fast. They're gonna be, you know, leaving sparks, sparks of fire, a trail, of, a trail of fire. You know, all type of stuff, man, is gonna be going on when Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gives us our strength back, right? Um, and again, this is the comfort of the scriptures, man. This gives us hope. I, uh, Psalm chapter eighteen. And you see one the one thing with King David, um, because again, man, King David, man, he he did all type of crazy stuff, man. Um, but he always gave the credit to Yahweh Bashimel Shai, because he 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 knew and he understood, you know, all the mighty acts that King David did, man. And it's amazing when you again when you look into what King David did and you know the stuff that he was able to accomplish. How how else was he able to uh, kill tens of thousands of people, man? You know, um. Cause I'm sure you know when King David was on the battlefield, man, he was moving so majestically, man. He was, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he was agile, and he, he was just, I, I could just picture it, man. You know, something like, something straight out of a movie, man. You know how swift he was with the blade, man. How, how fast he was, man. You know, cause they try to give the credit to, you know, stuff like ninjas and, and kung fu. They try to give that to the Moabites. No, man, that stuff started with our people. All right, 
we were the original so-called ninjas and, and kung fu masters and all that type of stuff and all that stuff that you see in the movies man that that our people were doing that king david was doing that you know but um i'm gonna read this here in psalm chapter 18 and Verse 28, it says, For thou will light my candle. Yahweh, my power will enlighten my darkness. So, again, because um, it takes Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, to light that spark in us. He has to tap into our minds and, you know, he has to program us to be able to perform these abilities, right? Verse 29, it says, For, the, for by thee have I run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. So, you see, again, you know, ultimately all credit goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right. And again, King David, hey, he always gave credit where it, where, where it was due, you know, to the Lord, man. All right. But again, verse 28, it says, For thou will light my candle, Yahweh, my, my power will light my darkness. Right. Programming us. Right. Tapping into our mind and, and programming us. Right. To do these things. Verse 29, For thee, for by thee have I run through a troop. And by my power have I leaped over a wall. So you see, King David was able to perform these things because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua was with him and gave him the ability to do these things. Um, actually, that wasn't King David. Um, I think that was Moses, if I'm not mistaken, where it talked about how Moses, um, his, his, uh, what, well, because technically uh, King David was Moses for those that have ears to receive it. But um, I think it was Moses that um, when he, when he died, um, it talked about how he died in the old age, man, and his his eyesight wasn't, you know, because you know the older you get, the, the the more your body wears out, and the more your vision goes. I believe it was with Moses, you know, when he when he reached up in age, and it was you know time for him to go to the spiritual realm. It talked about how his eyesight, man, it wasn't dim, you know. You know his eyesight didn't give out, you know. So you know stuff like that, man. You know this is stuff that we can look forward to in the time to come, you know. Again, giving all credit to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, because you know all these things is to the glorification of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know. Um, but yeah, man, you know that's that's pretty much it, man. I just like I said, I just I just saw this video and I just you know I just thought about how Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man, he's gonna give us our strength back. And like I read, you know, those that are feeble, man, um, they're gonna be as King David. So, hey, man, you know, picture picture guys like this, um, or, or not even so. Cause this guy looks to be you know physically fit and in shape and whatnot but picture guys like your grandfather you know walking on the cane and stuff like that um hey man tearing through buildings and, and you know um going through troops man like nothing you know hey, was, hey that's what hey that's what's coming that's what's gonna happen and again man you gotta believe it because it, ultimately it's a thing of faith you know but i'm gonna end off there giving all acknowledgement once again to yahweh bashim el shai Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Shemel Shai, Barakatham, to the hopefully elect. Until next time, Lord's will, I say Shalom.